Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the power of neural networks through a visualization. We're going to compare it to a different method so you can see just how awesome these neural networks are and maybe get an idea of why people love to use them today. So first we just need to import some things like NumPy and Pandas, we'll do that real quick. And next I'm going to create some data using my data generator code right here it's going to have a thousand samples and it's just for the sake of this example so it's going to be just two dimensions an x and a y and the class that our model will attempt to predict so let's go ahead and plot this raw data so you can kind of see what it looks like really quick okay so we have two classes blue and red now notice that there's a lot of blue classes on the inside of the red classes and then there's blue classes around the outside of the red classes. This is an interesting problem. So our model's going to have to somehow find a pattern to distinguish between the two classes if it wants to have some good predictability. So let's divide our data into features and the classes we want to predict. And now let's go ahead with the logistic regression. So from scikit-learn.linear model, and remember, logistic regression is from a linear model. We'll create our model. Here's all the parameters that our model has just the default parameters. And now I'm going to plot the decision boundary underneath the raw data so you can see how this logistic regression is discriminating between the red and the blue. Okay, so here it is. And you'll notice it's just a straight line. It says red's gonna be on the bottom part of the line and blue's gonna be on the top part of the line. Now, this is actually doing the best job it can at fitting. This is trained, so it's finding the best line to distinguish between the blue and the red. So it actually does slightly better than 50% here, but that's about the best it's going to be able to do because think about it, you draw a line, wherever you draw that line, you're going to have an enormous amount of mistakes because of how this data looks. It's more circular. A line's not going to be able to distinguish or discriminate between the two classes. So now let's create this same model, but with a neural network from scikit-learn. This is just gonna be a basic neural network classifier. In fact, we'll do MLP classifier, which is the multi-layer perceptron. And I'm gonna do just a few hidden layers here. This isn't super important. We have seven hidden layers, each of size 10. And now let's do model.fit with our features and classes here are the parameters that this model has. They're all just the standard built-in parameters with the ReLU activation function auto batch size. Now let's look at the decision boundary for the neural network. And whoa, you can see here why this is so powerful because the neural network was able to draw a decision boundary that actually fit in a circle. It's non-linear. And you can tell that really easily because of the disjointness of the blue parts. We have this blue part in the middle and the blue parts all around the edge. So this is obviously getting a lot more accurate at distinguishing between the red and the blue. For the sake of this example, you can see how a neural network is so powerful in that it can find relationships that a logistic regression cannot, meaning it can find non-linear relationships. Now this is super easy to see in this example because we did it in two dimensions, but in multiple dimensions, the neural network is able to find those non-linear relationships where logistic regression and other linear models can't. So I hope this was able to help you understand why neural networks are so powerful and how they can find patterns Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. Here are two other videos that I think you'll enjoy.